This is an overview of the notification widget by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. On the left side over here, we have an option to change the text of the notification itself. You can also align the text any way you want. For example, align it to the center, to the right, or to the left. You have an option to change the notification close button icon to any icon you want. I'm going to leave it as this icon. Let's jump into the style tab and see what styling options we have. So the first option is for the background of the notification. So you can change this to any background you want. Let's leave this a light gray color. The next setting is for padding. So you can play around with the padding. You can also unlink this and change the padding from each side. The next setting is for no notification radius. We can make our notification rounded and we can add a border. Let's change the border to solid, for example. Notification text colors for the text itself. And you can also change the notification typography. So if you want your text typography to be bigger, you can play around with the slider over here or change any other typography settings. Let's jump into the close button section and see what we have over here. So we can change the background color of the close button. We can change its alignment to be on the right side or on the bottom if we want as well. We can close, we can change the color of the, of the icon inside. So let's just show this, make it yellow, for example, play around with the size and the icon size inside. And horizontal and vertical push are pushing it from wherever it's snapped to. So right now it's snapped to the right top. So I can push this, for example, 30 pixels from the right. And it pushed it 30 pixels. If I push it 30 pixels from the top, it will go down by 30 pixels. You can also use negative values. So minus 30, minus 30, and now it's outside of our box over here. Over here in close radius, we can change the radius of the close icon and add a border if we want to. So let's add a border, solid border, give it a color, black, awesome. You can change the border width as well. Now I want to place it over here on my box. So let's change this to minus 10 and minus 10. And now it's placed correctly where I wanted it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.